Hello, welcome to Craft Little Things. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Andrea. Um, today I've got this really big um, box which contains a really big candle. Um, I'll show you in a minute. It's tied up with polka dot string. It's white and blueberry bushel. I've used the pretty label punch. I've used blueberry bushel ink and I've used the retired half. I can't even read what it says. I think it's Heartfelt Wishes. Oh, Heartfelt Blooms, which was a celebration item that I absolutely loved. Um, I love this sort of French boudoir kind of feel, and that's what I've gone for throughout this. So we take off our ribbons, and there's two because this is quite a big gift, um, and it's quite heavy, and then we open up our box and inside there's a really big pillar candle, church candle. You can see the sides of the box have the blueberry bushel cardstock to reinforce them and then the sides of the box with the candle in have the same but with DSP stamped on top of it so that the box lid just fits nicely. So instead of having the candle right inside the box and having a really deep box which would be very difficult to make with 12 by 12 uh, without a join. We have a shallow uh, box with a lid that sits onto these panels at the side and then I've just used a bit of the serviette that I used to stamp the candle um, uh, to, to decorate the candle to just sort of squash in the bottom so that when it's standing up it's not got too much space, it's not wobbling about too much. Put a little diamante pin in and um, this was done using serviette which I can insert a clip to show how I did it and this is a stamping up retired sentiment from Just Add Text which is one of my absolute all time favourite stamping up sets. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make this now. It's very simple, straightforward box design and then it just needs a little bit of thought to give it some extra strength and to stop the lid from disappearing down the box. I mean if the, if the lid doesn't want to disappear down the box that's fine but it just sort of fits better. It's going to roll about if it if it's not sort of stopped uh, if you like. So um, I'll just fasten it back up and then we'll crack on and I'll show you how to make it. I want to insert how to make the candle first. Um, and if you just want to go past that uh, to the box making, go ahead. Um, I've, the, it is a really, really simple box, so I'm not going to dwell on the basic sort of structure of it too much. Hi, so how we missed a really big candle, this one. So how we do this is we take the design that we want to use and we cut out, um, we separate out our napkin. By pulling off the layers, it just, they do come off. <laughs> and there's one layer. And here's another layer. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm going to use one of the tissue layers and I'm going to stamp onto it um, this one I think and I'm going to stamp sentiment onto it um, in um, blueberry bushel which is a stamp ink colour which is very similar to the colour that's been used there. I'm going to use the, I feel there's nothing more truly artistic than to love people. <laughs> By Van Gogh, was it? I'm just going to stamp that on to my tissue. Okay. 
going to pop that aside, but I am going to use that again later when I'm making the box for this one. So I'm just going to cut that out. If you don't smudge it, and that'll go really well with that um, ink uh, with that design. And then, what I'm going to do now, I've only got one ply of this left, I'm just going to cut some out of these flowers it's quite difficult because there's like a pattern that's kind of connected so you have to kind of go which is good because that means You have the pattern going around your candle which is nice now if you wanted you could just cut out a very simple small piece and not have a big piece to work with I love this because this is very um, French boudoir to me and I love that kind of um, accent right so if that's going to go around the candle like that okay and then the sentiment can go here, maybe that can come down, come round like that, and then have the sentiment there. Then we can always add or take away little bits. I think it would be nice to have that. That's going to go around there, nice and tight, and I'll be popping a nail, oops, got some caught up in my heat tool, heat tool comes on, let it get warm. But there it's come out beautifully and there we have that gorgeous candle with that lovely sort of French boudoir image on it which is really beautiful can you see that so so far for this huge candle then <laughs> I've made two boxes very very simple boxes and they were just 11 and a half um, by five and a half, at uh, five and three quarters, a piece of white and a piece of night of navy. And I just scored them at one and a half inches all the way round. And just with the lid, I moved it slightly away from the edge to make it a little bit bigger. And I've just made two very sort of long boxes that obviously the white is the lid now just so that this sits flush and doesn't go down I'm going to sort of reinforce this side and make a little ledge along it now what I need is I'm going to do an eight inch piece and I'm going to do a three inch piece at the end so I'm going to do I need two eight inch um one inch strips so I'm going to do a one inch strip Oh, 
and then strip. And I'm just going to make those eight inches and three inches, which must, which will come out of one piece. So eight inches and eight inches, and then three inches for the smaller pieces at the end. Giving. They're going to go around there, and then I'm going to do the same with um, the whisper white band. But I'm going to make this three quarters of an inch. By three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to make this. Uh, seven and three quarters and two and three quarters so seven and three quarters and two and three quarters okay And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to decorate those. I'm going to put them together so that the top is at the white is lined up on one side and just leaving a little gap on the other. And then I'm going to decorate this this part of the box. Um, and for that, I'm going to use some stamped Whisper White. Um, now that will be measuring I made this too big I think I've made my red ones a bit too big um, blue ones a bit too big two and three quarters yeah these two small ones should be two and a half okay two and a half and then the smaller white piece should be two and a quarter I'll just get that Oh, get it off. These will be two and a quarter. by eight and a quarter two and a half so an inch and a quarter by eight and a quarter I'm going to do, I'm just going to lay these pieces out. Like so. I'm just going to get my stamp. I still haven't got used to opening these new pads. Right. So these pieces are going to be glued on to that's going to be a part of my lid these are parts of my base so I'm going to take that and I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it and 
and I'm going to stick this right up to the top of that band. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the other one. So it's got like around the edges but not at the top because I want that double width at the top okay. and the same here and there is a piece I haven't cut out I've just realized a piece of blue that I didn't cut out There she goes, making it up as she goes along as usual. This is how I work, isn't it? Now I do know. There definitely was another piece. There it is. of you thinking of you because that could be Chris thinking of you at Christmas couldn't it be thinking of you at a hard time birthday whenever I'm going to cut out two of those and I'm just going to pop those together. ribbons it's quite big to just have one ribbon so you tie two on this one but it's so girly that Two little beauties and then dimensionals to hold on a little beauty. Pop that in the middle, thinking of you. And there we have it. And there we have it. What a beautiful, beautiful gift is that. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again very soon.